A la peanut butter toast. Come out. Smedley, you are always into something new, and I never know what it is. Let me see if I can figure this out myself. A la peanut butter. Oh, a la Kazam, a la peanut butter. You're into magic now, aren't you? A la peanut butter toast. Oh. I'm telling you, Smedley, that was an amazing trick. No, that's Smedlini the Great. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, what's your next amazing feat? Observe, an ordinary red ball, which I will cover with the magic scarf. Now, could you assist me by blowing on the ball? Oh, Smedley, I don't want to blow on any... Just blow on the ball! Okay, okay! <sighs> okay, now that you blew on the ball, what color do you think it is? Uh, let me guess. Blue? Correctamundo! Now, with my magic, I will return it to red. One, two, three! Smedley, that wasn't a magic trick. We didn't see any magic there. How about we introduce you to someone who really does magic? In fact, this person is an illusionist. Come with me. Hey, I want for you to meet somebody right now. Hey! Oh. Hi. It really worked. This is Zygmunt. Now, he's a magician. You're a professional magician, right? Correct. Now, tell me, how long have you been doing magic? Actually, for about 20 years. Whoa. So, uh, I think you know what you're doing. <laughs> what got you involved in magic? Actually, um, a friend of mine was performing magic um, for a party, and I was attending. I just got the bug. You were watching, and you said, I have to do that. Three o'clock in the morning, I was still trying to get the rings <laughs> apart. <laughs> It was a ring trick, huh? Yeah, and that's what got me. And he said, if you promise to go to sleep and leave my house, I'll bring you to a magic shop on the weekend. I gave him back the rings, and we went to the magic shop. So, some close-up magic, which is a, uh, a, a fun way of beginning magic for somebody that wants to start, because you just have to kind of uh, get some money from your parents and some cards from some friends, and you could uh, be in business. I'm going to cover up the uh, coins one at a time. OK. And you won't believe what's going to happen. I'm going to take the coin here. I'm going to make it travel. It's going to travel right to there. You won't believe it. That's one. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's two. You want to try the last one? Go ahead. What do I do? Just remove the two cards. That one. Ah, you hey. did it. Remove it. Wait a minute. Oh. Very good. Oh, wait. <laughs> we got to check the tape on that one. I have no clue. I'm sitting right here you in won't, front of it. You won't tell anybody how we did that, will you? I don't know how you <laughs> did it. Who are some of the names you respect today that really blow you away with some of the stuff that you can't even figure out? Copperfield. Yeah? Lance Burton. This is Copperfield, by the way. I've noticed the man. all <laughs> the man, the king, the legend. <laughs> and he's got a really cool first name, too. Yeah. Um, as far as your house goes, you have just literally hundreds, I'd even venture to say thousands, of magic posters, Actually, paraphernalia. 100, 100, 100, 120, 40, three coins, mm -hmm. and an English penny. The English penny actually has the ability to attract silver. You'll hear the attraction. You won't see it. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. One coin traveled right on over to the English penny. We'll try it again. That's two. Wait. Two right <laughs> over to okay. the English penny. Now, the last one. Yeah, we got it. That's three coins attracted right on over to the English uh. penny. Oh. You're blowing my mind and blowing the light bulb simultaneously. So this is the man you, huh, David Copperfield? He's, he's the man in magic, yeah. Did you ever get to meet him? Yes, we have. Tell us about the time you met David. Well, David, uh, his crew called up, and they needed a dog. And the crew was over here, and they remembered. <whistles> come here, boy. Oh, my gosh. Come You're here. not going to believe the size Keller, of this dog. Come. Are you sure that's a dog and not a come horse? On. Come on. Or a cow? Hey, <laughs> whoa, look at this. So this was the reason you got to meet David Copperfield, Yeah, right? he wanted to see his 8x10. <laughs> I don't think this dog could fit on an 8x10 photo. <laughs> Good boy. So th was he this was dog looking, in he the was looking. No, he was looking for a dog um, to um, intermix with uh, three other dogs that he had. He wanted a bigger dog. They had 90-pound dogs. They wanted something bigger and more spectacular. But David... Um, seeing the sunglasses on him, thought he was just a little too big. So he came out and just basically said, thanks for showing us your dog. Yeah, thank you, and thanks for coming down and enjoy the show. He gave us tickets to see the show. Then an assistant came on by and they, she said, did you see Dave? And I said, yeah. Did he tell you? <laughs> I said, yeah. 
Yeah, he just thought he was a big, big fat dog. <laughs> Zygmunt just showed me a magic trick. I'm going to show you, but I can't tell you how I'm doing it because Zygmunt said he'd stick the dog at me if I did. So I'm not going to do it. All right, stay, please. All right, keep your eyes on the three different length ropes here. We have one short one, OK, then a medium one, and then a long one, OK? No problem. Here we go. Now, tell me if I'm doing this right. I take this, put it up here. Who's he wants it there? Switch these two out there. Then I've got this one, this one up here like this, and I'm just kind of fiddling them around, moving the ends around. And this one up here like this, right? And then I grab this end. Ta da! Get, go, go, yeah! You see that? Now it's one. Cool. Oh, come on, I can do that. Here, I got some ropes. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, okay. Gonna make them all into one big. Rope! <laughs> okay. Can't, can't, can't. Whoops! Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, it's coming. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta da! David D. TV, a Smedley production, will be back after these messages. What? We're on? <laughs> and now back to David D. TV. Okay, Smendley, you've seen the smaller tricks. Now it's on to the bigger stuff. Huge, big, sharp beds of spikes crashing down. Chainsaws, big boxes. Who needs those fancy, expensive props when you can perform tricks with things around the house? Like this, ordinary glass of juice. Observe while I drink the juice and speak at the same time. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. <sighs> and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <coughs> Ta-da! a little bit different. We are hanging out with Zygmunt. Where are we now? We're at my friends at uh, Stage Equipment and Lighting. Okay, and what is this thing right here? This is the table of death. Oh, yeah, forget okay, that. It's okay, the safety is in. Safety oh, the safety. Are, in, Dave. are you we're sure? Cool. Yeah, we're cool. <sighs> now, now, you said earlier that you like the big tricks as opposed to the little tricks. I'm assuming this is a big trick. This is a big, cool trick, yeah. Tell us about this. Well, this is uh, the table of death where I get chained and shackled to, uh, to this uh, table. And these spikes fall right down, and I have 60 seconds to escape. 
before the rope that we set on fire breaks through and uh, keeps me on the edge every performance. Now, we're safe under here now because the safeties are in, but those safeties don't stay in the whole time. No, they, they come out um, just as they set the rope on fire. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure you take different safety precautions, but there's always, I guess, a chance that you could get really hurt during this trick. There's definitely element of danger every time. That's what makes it a big, cool trick. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to take a deep breath on the table of death. Tell me about the other tricks we're going to see. Well, we're uh, doing the cutting nightmare which is we remove a middle of a girl. It's not going to be me? No. Can I maybe help by tickling the toes or something? Sure. OK, cool. So we got the sharp spikes. We got the lights. We got the sound. We got the eyebrows. What else can we add for special effect? Well, we get, get the pyrotechnics working. That's the explosions, the big puffs of smoke. And this is what we uh, use. It's a pyro pot, is what we call it. It's a device that electronically signals a squib that lights uh, flesh powder or gunpowder. Is that dangerous, too? Very dangerous. And it should only be done by professionals. You should enjoy it at home, watching on TV, on live in a show, but don't mess around. It's very dangerous. And um, it's. Uh, Shouldn't be tried at home, even if you find the material. All right. So if you have one of these set up in your kitchen and you want to cook some popcorn, don't do it, OK? <laughs> Tell us about the animals you deal with. Well, we uh, have uh, doves, naturally, uh, ducks, and tiger in the show. Now, animals, I've worked with many, many animals, and they're very unpredictable. You ever have any moments where things don't go according to plan? <laughs> the ducks don't cooperate sometimes, but uh, usually the tiger um, cooperates. We never had any trouble with the tiger. I even take him out of the cage and walk him off stage. We, he cooperates so well. But the ducks are unpredictable, especially when they uh, do what they do best. Yeah, I stepped in that a little earlier, but yeah. and we'll clean that up. Those, That's number. Those, those are the unpredictabilities. That is <laughs> really fun. Okay, so we're going to see the table of death. We're going to see the cutting nightmare, and it is my job to stay out of the way. And I wish you luck. See, I'm so nervous, I can't even hold the mic. Here, you take the microphone. So, Smanley, are you learning a little more about magic, my friend? Here, I've got another trick for you. Uh, name any card in a deck of 52 cards. Okay, uh, uh, Ace of Spades. Yep, here it is, right on this card. Oh, that's clever, Smedley. That's real funny, buddy, but that's not magic. I mean, come on, you want to see some real illusions? Later in the show, we got people disappearing. Disappearing? Haha, <laughs> I can't wait to learn how to do that. We're coming back with more David DTV right after these messages. And now, back to more David D. TV. Hey, Smedley, you think that sounded like me? Smedley! Smedley, is there a fire in the studio? What's with all the smoke? It's special effects. With smoke, a little lighting, and some music, my performance is going to be just as good as Zygmunt's. Now watch as I magically disappear, a la peanut butter toast with marshmallows! Smedley, I can't see a thing, buddy. See, it worked. The Table of Death. The Table of Death, 600 pounds of spikes and steel connected to a single rope. Zygmunt will be chained and shackled to the table. 
The rope holding the spikes will be set on fire. He'll have 60 seconds or less before the rope burns completely through, sending the spikes crashing down through anything in its path. Zygmunt's Dangerous Race Against Death.
I'll tell you, we've seen some pretty amazing illusions in there. I still can't believe my eyes. I don't know how they did it. Huh. Well, hang on. You haven't seen my final amazing trick yet. <laughs> Smedley, I hate to burst your magical bubble, but nothing you did so far has been amazing. No, wait a minute. It's, it's true that performing magic takes practice. You have to start out small before you're ready to do the really big stuff. But I'm all warmed up now, and I'm ready to reveal the most spectacular illusion you'll probably ever see. Oh, okay. Well, everybody stick around, because this is going to be good. Or it'll be bad, but it'll be good to... Stick around. You're going to have to see it. If Smedley doesn't break anything, we'll be back with more after this. What? We're on? <laughs> and now back to David D. TV. There you have it, David D. TV giving you the inside scoop on magic, but not giving away any secrets. Oh, I must say those illusions were fairly good. <laughs> fairly good? They were awesome. They were spectacular. They were mind-blowing. I mean, no offense to you, but they were a lot better than your little tricks. <laughs> well, I was just saving the advanced stuff for last. I mean, I didn't want to make you disappear before the show was over. <laughs> Make me disappear? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love peanut butter toast with bananas. Uh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm completely shocked and amazed. It worked. Oh, how do I get them back? Oh, no. Uh, um, a la peanut butter toast with bananas. No. Uh, a la cinnamon toast with peanut butter. No. Uh, a la burnt toast scrapings in the sink. No. Oh, no. Uh, where's the search cam? Uh, search cam. Okay, here we go. Oh no, he really is gone. I don't see him anywhere. Oh no, I need to get help. I'll find a magician, that's what I'll do. I'm coming, David! Shh, don't tell him. 